get your garden skinny boy ready hello 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 you guys it's not about me today it's all about the sweet potato but hello my waiver backers i love you guys thank you so much for being here if you're new to the if you're new to my channel, welcome to Gardening with Skinny Boy Randy, where beginners and experts are always welcome. Thank you guys so much for being here. I really do appreciate it. Also, if you're new, click that subscribe button. The big red square is down there. Mm -hmm. Click the subscribe button and then click the bell right next to it. You'll get a notification every time I make a video. And you guys don't want to miss it because we have some fun over here on the Gardening with Skinny Boy Farms. Okay, okay. Thank you again for being here. Also, leave a comment, you guys. Leave a like, a share, um, all that good stuff. Check out my merchandise, you guys. You can order your t-shirts, your mugs, all that good stuff. Just let's, let's just get the preliminaries out the way. Also, if I can't answer a question here, head on over to my Facebook group. That group is called Gardening with Skinny Boy Randy, where beginners and experts are welcome as well. If I can't answer a question here, somebody over there can answer it because those are some question answering people. I love the Facebook group, you guys. Also, somebody's going through what you're going through. So don't think you're alone. We all go through something. We live, we learn, we laugh, we grow something, we eat it. So if nobody told you they love you today, Skinny Boy Randy loves you guys. And also, I'm not too loud. But yes, I had to make this video for you guys on sweet potatoes. It's January. Now is the time to get your sweet potatoes started if you have not done so already. This video is amazing because my sweet potatoes started themselves. So let me just start off by saying how to start your sweet potatoes. Sweet potatoes, you can get, get them out the store. You can grow store-bought sweet potatoes, you guys, or you can grow sweet potatoes that you've harvested from your past harvest and uh, or if somebody gave you some sweet potatoes. Yeah, you can turn this into more food. Okay. Okay. Sweet potatoes are a delicious food that you can make candied yams. You can just saute them in a little butter and just all different type of ways. Sweet potato pie. It's it's a staple in history. Okay, the sweet potato. So, how do you grow your own sweet potatoes from your store bought sweet potatoes? You can do it. Yes, you guys, you can go to the store, buy you some sweet potatoes. Some of them are treated with chemical uh, sprays to keep them from uh, chitting, which is C H I T T I N G, I believe, or maybe one T. I don't know. I never went to chitting school. But yes, it's chitting, and that's the process of the potato getting an eye on it. You see this? You, you ever had potatoes at home and you know, what is that? It's a little flower growing out. It's alive. This potato is alive inside. Things are happening. And it can feed this little seedling, which is actually what it is, a seedling, a potato seedling, for as long as it needs to until this whole potato dries up. But I'm not going to hold you long, you guys. I just wanted to make a quick video on growing sweet potatoes, how to do it, when to do it, and... Let's just dive right into it. Okay, first of all, this is just a, a special video because I have an update for you. Not only do I have the potatoes at the beginning, I have them after the chitting, and I have how we're going to plant them. Yes, you guys, we got it all. Yes, thank you, God. Thank you, Lord, for having stuff to show the people. So, yes, you guys, start off with some sweet potatoes. If you're following along with this video, get your sweet potatoes together, and let's move on to step number two. Okay, step number two, wash your sweet potatoes off, you guys. If you get them from the store, if somebody give them to you, get just a, 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 a container of water and just rinse them off very well. Especially if you buy them from the grocery store, they are sprayed so they don't chit as fast because they don't want them flowering in the store when you go to buy them. So they spray them with an inhibitor to keep them from sprouting sometimes. And you just want to get all that off. These were not grown from the grocery store. Thank you, sister, from Emporia, Virginia. You guys, we went down in Emporia, Virginia. And sister gave us these potatoes at least two months ago. Okay. Okay. Thank you, sister. Yeah, she gave us these potatoes two months ago, you guys, out of their garden. And um, these are real authentic uh, sweet potatoes out the garden down in Emporia, Virginia. Shout out to Emporia, Virginia. All right. So all I want to do, I just want to make sure I rinse them off very well. Look at those. Sweet potatoes are just so 
beautiful anyway. And then you cut it open and it's even more beautiful. But these might get cooked. So yeah, you guys, just rinse your sweet potatoes off real well. Okay? Move this out the way. Take them off and just roll them a little bit. Dry them off. Nothing fancy dancy, nothing pretty, just productive. Quick way to just roll them and dry them off because you want them totally dry before you go to just set them and forget them. Because that's pretty much what you do. And you want to get these started, you guys, because they take a while to seed and, and chit, not seed, but to chit, which is to grow the little flowers. And then once you get the flowers, you need the roots. Now, regular potatoes, you can just take the regular potatoes once they start to chit and get their little flowers. Regular, like, white uh, potatoes and, like, Yukon Gold, you can plant those right in the ground and just cover them with soil. But you can't do that with sweet potatoes. Some people say you can't. You just say, well, once it starts to get the flower on it, I guess you can't just drop it in there. But a lot of times, you risk a chance of the whole potato getting too much and moisture and rotting and, yeah. So... We're just going to stick with what we know. So, we got them all dried off, you guys. Okay? So, all you want to do is you want to put them in some type of paper bag. If you have an old uh, takeout, I think this is a Panera bag. It's an old paper bag. If you don't have an old paper bag, these were in a plastic bag, you guys. Okay? So, I'm going to show you not only paper bag but you can actually use plastic bag and I'm gonna show you exactly what happened and how we did it so just put them in the bag like so okay now what you want to do is put these in a garage or put them somewhere where it's uh, semi warm uh, I had these in my utility room uh, where my wash and dryer is, just set them up on the top of the top shelf and had the bag like this, twist it, and left it alone. Okay, now let me show you what I got. Okay, you guys, we're back. Yes, we actually have an update on our sweet potatoes and how they're doing. Just sitting on the top of a shelf in the utility room in the food line grow bag. Okay, okay, thank you food line for the bag, y'all. Y'all see a, a plastic bag going to waste? I use it until the, the brakes fall off of it. Okay, okay. Thank you so much for the food line bag. But yes, you guys. Okay, you just did it and forget it. Didn't do anything special. Just rinse them off, put them in a bag, set them on the top of a shelf in the laundry room. And sometimes the laundry room gets a little warm because of the dryer and sometimes gets cold because of the back door. So they they didn't have any special conditions, but Mother Nature is the bomb digging it out. Yes, 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 yes. We love Mother Nature. Thank her so much for being here as well. So yes, you guys. So after about eight weeks, yeah, that's why I say you start your sweet potatoes right now. So you can have your stuff ready when the weather warms up. These just happen to be ready for you guys right now. Okay, okay. Thank you guys so much for being here. So like I said, we got these from Emporia, Virginia. They were dug up fresh out of the garden. And we were supposed to make a sweet potato pie, but we never made one. And this is what happened. I actually forgot they were on top of the shelf, you guys. Look at this. We're about to have some authentic wonderful sweet potatoes from Emporia Virginia yeah let me get this camera situated y'all so y'all can see how they did this on their own it wasn't my goal to do this but I was just online looking at ordering uh, some sweet potato uh, starts and I said, you know what, Randy, just start your own. But they can take a while. Some people put them in a water jar. Some people put them in soil. I'm going to show you how to put them in soil. But these took off. No soil. Look at this. And this is a beautiful red color leaf thing going. So 
So these are probably going to be some super duper sweet, you guys. But yep, after a few weeks, look. Sitting in this plastic bag on top of the shelf, y'all, look at that. I ain't got to go nowhere and buy no, I ain't got to buy nothing, Craig. Look at that, look at that, look at there, look at there. Ooh, yeah. Thank you, Lord. Look at there, look at there. Ooh. Look at that, y'all. Look at all that. Look at all that sweet potato. Look at there. Yes, yes, yes. And like I said, they've been neglected. They were not doing anything but just sitting on a shelf. And look, the potato itself feeds itself, y'all. So that's what pretty much happened. Potato was feeding itself. And look at all that. Yeah, you guys. We have to get these in some moisture because they've just been sitting with no tender love and care. But we're about to take care of that. So this is what you get after about a month or two, you know, depending on your potatoes and your variety and, and what's happening uh, with yours. But these were just sitting on top of the cabinet just like this. And now, look y'all, we have our sweet potatoes slip started. Now, this is not the final step. What we're going for is roots roots we want roots to come out of this we want roots to come out of these yeah it will root you guys yep believe it or not looks like it's just a plant growing but yep once you get into some water or some moisture it will actually form roots and we're going to do ours in soil shout out to gary pilotic and the rustic garden i love his idea on um doing it in the soil i know a lot of other people did it but i saw it first over there on gary pillark and the rustic garden of you guys shout out to him and yes you guys when they first start to bloom you'll see the little flower you know like i said before but then eventually you get all this okay so now i want to show you what to do once you get your first start of your slips on your sweet potatoes. Okay, okay. Let's go over to our soil. All right, you guys. This is the final step. And we're just gonna let them grow. And then of course, I'm gonna come back and give you an update. But this is the final step on starting your sweet potatoes in container, indoors. How to have sweet potatoes for you and your family and everybody that you want to share sweet potatoes with. Okay, okay. Now this is just a mixture of regular uh, seed starting soil um, I get from the Dollar Tree, those little bags, yep. I put one bag of that in there. I put uh, a cup and a half of black cow. I put one cup of regular potting soil. It's miracle Grow potting soil. And that's it. That's it, y'all. Three different things. Black cow, uh, Dollar Tree uh, seed starting mix, and... Um, the miracle Grow potting mix yeah it, they don't require a lot you guys as you can see they did this on their own without any help mother nature has a way this plant is alive inside and well it's doing this on its own without any help you see that yeah so you know mother nature is always working so now what we want to do is give it a firm base so it can start plant uh producing our roots Sorry, you guys. I had to work a second shift today at the hospital, y'all. So y'all know I'm not used to being in that hospital when it's dark and I get off work. I'm used to getting off when it's daylight. So what I'm going to do is just take some of this water that we use. And just mix in a little bit at a time, you guys. You don't want it oversaturated. I'm not putting any holes at the bottom of this tray. This is just a simple uh, baking tray. Again, from one of our favorite stores. And just gonna mix this all around. Yeah, we want it nice and moist because these new sprouts need the moisture to produce roots, okay? Okay. Thank you guys so much for being here. Don't forget to check out my Instagram and my Twitter, you guys, Facebook group, all that good stuff. We have fun, you guys. Um, yeah, check it out.
I'm going to be down in Georgetown, South Carolina, uh, March uh, 31st through April the 4th. We're going to be doing some seminars and workshops down there, you guys. So if you're in the area of South Carolina, <clears throat> please check it out. We're going to be on the Kadogo Farms. We're going to be checking out the Gola Kichi culture. Yes, you guys. Opening up our eyes and horizons to new things. So, yep. So, what we've done is just made us some... Is there a screen on this camera? I'm sorry, y'all. Uh, is there... Is there... Okay. Oh, Lord. It's still there. It's just a glare from the light. I'm sorry. So what we did, we've done, we ate more than our soil, just like that. Okay, and it's it's really simple. You just want to take your potato and push it down into the soil like this. Okay, and give it a little love and care. Let it know you love it. That's all. Okay. Just gonna lay them down in there like this. And these are from Emporia, Virginia, you guys. I am so excited to see what we get. Like I said, I just set them in and set them and forget them. You know, sometimes you can grow what you got at your house and you don't even realize that you got it. And these did their own thing on their own. And just gonna sit them down in some soil. Just like that. You can put multiple because, you know, we're going to pull them out. And, yeah, let me scoot this one over so we can get more. Maybe one more over there. Yeah, just take all the ones that have their little sprouts on them. Put them right down in the soil like that, right? Okay. Let's see how many we can fit in this one tray. I do have another tray, you guys. Yeah, I do have another tray. So, just wanted to show you how to do it. Now, what I'm going to do is backfill and put a little bit more soil in these. Just to make sure that they stay in contact with the soil. Yeah, I'm going to put a little bit more soil. We don't want any dry spaces and anything like that okay and there you have it that's how you start your sweet potatoes you guys i'm going to bring you back and keep you updated on how these do like i said i'm just going to add a little bit more of the same mixture right around the plants you won't hurt them if you get uh this root under the under the uh soil so you'll be just fine thank you guys so much for being here don't forget to grow your sweet potatoes starting in january so they can sprout you guys because we want to have these ready for may june july and yeah they love the heat so if you get them started now especially the sweet potatoes the regular potatoes don't take that long but your sweet potatoes go ahead and get them started now yeah you'll you'll be glad you did and you can have sweet potatoes for your family for days and years to come okay i love you guys thank you so much for being here don't forget to click like and subscribe leave a thumbs up thumbs down just that two middle fingers okay okay Thank you so much for being here. Check out Instagram, Twitter, and my Facebook group, Gardening with Skinny Boy Randy, where beginners to the experts are welcome. Click the bell. You'll get a notification every time I make a video. You guys are absolutely amazing. Remember, live, love, laugh, grow stuff, and eat it. Even your sweet potatoes. We love sweet potatoes. Bye.